but you know the the umbrella leadership technique it, it's not something to be taken lightly you mm. know it's not a style of management that i would ever employ on day one but you know to probably bring it to life if we've got if the mission statement of the business is to be there for our customers and make sure we support our customers and you've got somebody above you trying to make sure you're doing lots of things and your team are doing lots of things that don't support your customers mm. then actually we've got a mismatch there so how do we stay on message to support our customers if that is what we're supposed to be doing when someone else is telling you to do the complete opposite because something's filtered out wrong mm. so then the umbrella comes up you come through me you speak to me i shelter my people I give them the clear direction because I know what the clear direction is. I know what we need to do. I know what the leader at the top wants and expects, and that's what we're going to deliver. But I was getting this sort of subculture in the middle of someone really out of their depth trying to look after themselves. And I remember eventually saying to him one day, right, you've told me what you know Claire wants, what Bob wants, what Joe wants, what Ian wants. What do you actually want? You know, what is it you want us to do? And he could not answer the question. 